My name is Mohamed Hassan. I am from Somalia. I enrolled in APU in 2016 and I graduated in September 2018. The reason why I chose to study in Japan is because the Japanese government, they wanted to establish a higher presence in Africa. They started offering a new scholarship for the African scholars. They approached the government of Somalia and through the government of Somalia, we received the offer to study in Japan. Then I saw APU. APU was like one of the very few universities that can give you like a full English-based MBA program. So to study at a graduate level in Japan in a full English mode, then APU was the first choice. So that's why I chose to come and study in APU. APU is a such multicultural university, unique, different university in Japan. The best thing of APU is not actually when you are in APU. It's actually when you finish APU, because you will have friends all over the world. So now I'm, I'm a graduate of APU, but when I want to go to any country in Asia, like for example, say in, in, in Myanmar or Malaysia, I already have people, so I know who to get, to, to get connected with. So that's the best thing of APU. I had the best two years of my life in APU. I really met uh, a lot of amazing people. I made a lot of friends that I'm still connected with. Actually, what I'm doing now back in Somalia is an inspiration from Japan, especially while I was in APU. So it was an amazing experience to study at APU. What I'm doing now back in Somalia is something I prepared while I was in APU. So now in Somalia, I'm the director of the Institute of Innovation, Technology and Entrepreneurship at Simat University. This institute is quite something new that I brought, like I brought from Japan. What we are basically doing is we have mandates. We have a mandate of preparing the human capital necessary for the recovery of Somalia. As you know, Somalia has a huge problem or in terms of the, the, we have a higher unemployment rate in the country. So what we are focusing is preparing the youth to start their own businesses. So we are targeting priorities like some priority sectors in the country, like for example, the agriculture sector, the fishery sector, the livestock sector. Those are the areas where, where we think would accelerate the recovery of Somalia. So we are looking for people who are interested in those areas and we want to give them the kind of skills that will help them establish businesses in those areas. So once we have those areas and like we, we produce students who are capable of starting startups from those sectors, then we think Somalia would have a different future than what we have now.